Hi everybody, welcome to Chalk DIY with me, Nikki. If you see the live, there we go, uh, the red live, I'm live, otherwise you're watching on the replay and I thank you and I ask you to type in hashtag replay so I know that you were here. We're going to do a really simple project today, nothing fancy or schmancy. Just going to do this. There we go. Thank you. Let me just get where you can see what I'm doing. So, let me get to it. You guys remember this project? Wow, it's really crooked. That I did. I'm going to do something similar, but even not as fancy schmancy as this. So I'm just going to put this to the side for a second. I need my fuzzing cloth. This is a watercolor paper. It's on a block. Um, it could be any watercolor paper. And we're going to use to get together. We have everything. So when you work on paper, you want to make sure you're going to, you fuzz tremendously. You want to really make sure it's not like sticky like that. That's bad. My daughter took my tweezers. Boy. Looks like the cat was sitting on my transfer. Hold on. I don't want to come off. Just one hair. There we go. Got it. I have found in the past that using textured paper, so um, cold press watercolor paper works much better then hot press. Hot press is a smooth watercolor paper. I'm just going to lay this on here. And we are going to paste I think maybe paste and peel. When you come on, say hi. Let me know you're here. I like to label the back. You want to put it back on the shinier side of the two, not the um, matte side it'll just stick to it so we're gonna do some pesto and of course I think we'll do shimmer plum and then we're gonna do just a little bit of paint Ooh. paste down Hello, Lori, how are you? Oh, there we go. Okay. I think I'm going to do the center part first. I'm 
So you will lift up That was easy, right? When you're using a shimmer, you want to make sure that you uh, stir it. it. Tends to separate a little bit. No big deal. Sorry, I'm not up to my normal pizzazz. Just taking it easy today. For those of you who don't know, I have fibromyalgia, and so some days you have flares. I don't know what I did, but I am flaring. But I like to create on those days because it gives me a sense of accomplishment. Makes me feel like I actually got something done today. And because I go live every day, it kind of forces me to get out of bed. Okay, I'm gonna lift this up. Now the cool, yeah, it already dried. Okay, that's okay. Um. The cool thing about this transfer is a an A size, so a five by seven, will fit inside this kind of wreath. So hello Shauna, you can use the wreath part for a totally different transfer. Again, I'm just making sure it's down. And the pesto. We're just going really simple today. The other thing you could do here is the hot mess. Hi, Tammy. Where you put down different colors, different shades of green in here. That would kind of be fun too. Thank you, Tammy. I appreciate that. Just doing something simple today. Today has not been the best day. There we go. That pesto jar needs some cleaning. Lift this up and I have an idea for the heart. Awesome. Here we go. Let's give this a little dry. It did bleed a little, but I'm going to fix it. This is watercolor paper. It is Strathmore from the best series, 400 series. Um, and it's cold press. Hot press makes it flat. You don't want hot press. Now the heart dried in the silk screen, but we're gonna fix it. This is just a marker.
color it in. Make it look like it's supposed to be like that. There, no one will ever know. Uh, yes, but not hot press. Hot press is a smooth paper. This has texture, and I just find that it works um, better. We're not going to get rid of that. So, we're going to take a tiny paintbrush. See how it's not as dark? I'm going to put some paste on there to make it look like the same color. There. Now it will dry to the same color. And no one will ever know. Perfect. I love it. I'm live. Do you have wrong one? For me? Do you have wrong one? Yes. You already asked me that. So then what you want to do is take right here probably can't see the difference no but you're gonna have to take my word right here this is all glued down but right here there's a little opening where it's not glued down so you just take something Take it off the block. Nothing sharp, you'll rip the paper. Get off. Glue. Oh! I could hear that. It was just, I tried to buy cheap dollar store command hooks. That's what you get. I'm just taking off the glue. Then, this frame I got at the Dollar Tree. Lift this up. And this comes out. That's a horrible noise. I'm going to take this one out. We're going to put this in. Hopefully a semi-straight. Put the, this back in. And there you go. Easy peasy lemon squeezy. Right? That's it. Quick, easy project. And don't forget this frame, the uh, A the A size, so the five by sevens fit in there. Right? Perfect gift.
And because I got this at the Dollar Tree, it's a dollar twenty-five. Perfect. Okay, guys. I'm going back to doing what I was doing before, which was nothing. Okay, so I will see you guys tomorrow at some point. Have a good weekend. I'll see you guys tomorrow. Remember, stay safe. Love you guys.